and they're being followed by Japan. Weakening is Mackin and not much between aristocratic men. Declan McDonald on the near side of Sacco and Vanzetti and Kevin Manning with Japan trying to get them in third place. They got 150 yards to go. Aristocratic man with Sacco and Vanzetti and here's Japan. Japan pounces to win and they're being followed by Japan. Weakening is Mackin and not much between aristocratic man. Declan McDonald on the near side of Sacco and Vanzetti and Kevin Manning with Japan trying to get them in third place. They got 150 yards to go. Aristocratic man with Sacco and Vanzetti and here's Here's Japan! Japan pounces to win! Second is Aristocratic Man, third is Sakuan Vanzetti, and they drew a long, long way clear of Ideal Pal Mackin next. And then nailed on Nina and Mark Gallagher, racing towards the final furlong. King of Leinster, Vinnie's Wish, on the outside, trying to come with a run as Time Queen. Not much between these three. They've gone on a few lengths in front of Could Be Good. And Time Queen has got the better of Stable Companion, King of Leinster, and then Vinnie's Wish. And stretching on to win as Time Queen goes a place better at this year's festival. And then nailed on Nina and Mark Gallagher, racing towards the final furlong. King of Leinster, Vinnie's Wish, on the outside, trying to come with a run as Time Queen. Not much between these three. They've gone on a few lengths in front of Could Be Good and Time Queen has got the better of Stable Companion, King of Leinster and then Vinnie's Wish and stretching on to win as Time Queen goes a place better at this year's festival. Second is King of Leinster, 1-2 for James Barrett and then Vinnie's Wish and Cantador and Could Be Good. Those three involved for the third spot. angled out to try and come with a run they're racing towards the last furlong and it's Stormy Bell in the centre with Sir Jack Thomas Crispin on the rail three almost in line with 200 yards to go Band of Outlaws is staying on strongly then Canary Row and Mayardine it's Stormy Bell with the narrow advantage over Sir Jack Thomas and Band of Outlaws flashing home on the near side Stormy Bell holds on to win angled out to try and come with a run they're racing towards the last furlong and it's Stormy Bell in the centre with Sir Jack Thomas Crispin on the rail three almost in line with 200 yards to go. Band of Outlaws is staying on strongly. Then Canary Row and Mayardine. It's Stormy Bell with the narrow advantage over Sir Jack Thomas and Band of Outlaws flashing home on the near side. Stormy Bell holds on to win. Band of Outlaws, Canary Row and Sir Jack Thomas come next. Racing off the elbow with a little over a furlong to go and prosecution on the outside and the black and white has taken up the lead from Monganui, then Cosmic Symbol who's running on ahead of vocal music and Chiavari. Ace Combat is next but it's prosecution and Shane Kelly out in front with in second place Cosmic Symbol. They're inside the last hundred yards and it's prosecution in front as they go to the finish and will get that elusive first win. Prosecution the winner. Racing off the elbow with a little over a furlong to go and prosecution on the outside the black and white has taken up the lead from Monganui, then Cosmic Symbol who's running on ahead of vocal music and Chiavari. Ace Combat is next but it's Prosecution and Shane Kelly out in front with in second place Cosmic Symbol. They're inside the last hundred yards and it's Prosecution in front as they go to the finish and will get that elusive first win. Prosecution the winner. Second is Cosmic Symbol. Third Chiavari and then vocal music Ace Combat and a never nearer Aztec Eagle. Coming down to the second last, it's Snow Falcon and Jonathan Moore in the lead from Saturnus and Paul Town. And safely over the second last is Snow Falcon, and now a three to four length leader. Coming down to the final fence, and again is Kerry National. It's Snow Falcon over the last by four. Saturnus is second, and then Rogue Angel, Shantou Village, and Delarca. They're running up to the last 50 yards. It's Snow Falcon from Saturnus, who's coming on the near side, but Snow Falcon has held Saturnus. Coming down to the second last, it's Snow Falcon and Jonathan Moore in the lead from Saturnus and Paul Town and safely over the second last is Snow Falcon and now a three to four length leader coming down to the final fence and again is Kerry National it's Snow Falcon over the last by four Saturnus is second and then Rogue Angel Shantou Village and Delarca they're running up to the last 50 yards it's Snow Falcon from Saturnus who's coming on the near side but Snow Falcon has held Saturnus Snow Falcon has beaten Saturnus a break back to Delarca and Rogue Angel and Shantou Village a Snow Falcon who was fourth in the Galway played has just hung on in the Guinness Kerry National Leading still Stable Companion easy game towards the second last at it 
It is get a reason, an easy game, driven up to try and challenge on the outside, and then air supremacy as they race down towards the final flight. Get a reason on the rail, the leader still to be passed. Easy game, and get a reason, a very bad mistake, and has a chance now, air supremacy, and easy game on the near side. It's all changed, and air supremacy has swooped to conquer. Air supremacy and Mark Walsh leading still. Stable companion, easy game towards the second last. At it. It is get a reason, an easy game, driven up to try and challenge on the outside, and then air supremacy as they race down towards the final flight. Get a reason on the rail, the leader still to be passed. Easy game, and get a reason, a very bad mistake, and has a chance now, air supremacy, and easy game on the near side. It's all changed, and air supremacy has swooped to conquer. Air supremacy and Mark Walsh beat easy game, and an unlucky get a reason with Captain Leo and Dare to Endeavour both going to complete the course in their own time. Coming towards the second last, and it's quick grab him and Paul Town and over. From back, Maj, who's moved off in pursuit. Weakening quickly is Debouche, and then only whispers, but down to the final flight, it's quick grab him. Out four lengths clear at the last flight. Quick grab him, jumped it well, and is drawing away from back, Maj, with back and third only whispers. So this is going to be a pinch of compensation for Paul Town, and then Willie Mullins as quick grab him wins. Coming towards the second last, and it's quick grab him and Paul Town and over. From back, Maj, who's moved off in pursuit. Weakening quickly is Debouche, and then only whispers, but down to the final flight, it's quick grab him. Out four lengths clear at the last flight. Quick grab him, jumped it well, and is drawing away from back, Maj, with back and third only whispers. So this is going to be a pinch of compensation for Paul Town, and then Willie Mullins as quick grab him wins the MSD Animal Health Maiden Hurdle, beating back, Maj, only whispers and then the Boucher and Spyglass Hill. And it's dancing in the sky, and Eileen O on the near side. These two now inside the last 200 yards, staying on is Nibbler's Charm. Eileen O and Patrick Mullins on the near side, just forging on with Nibbler's Charm, cutting loose on the near side, and Nibbler's Charm has got up to beat Eileen O. Inside the last 200 yards, staying on is Nibbler's Charm. Eileen O and Patrick Mullins on the near side, just forging on with Nibbler's Charm, cutting loose on the near side, and Nibbler's Charm has got up to beat Eileen O. Dancing in the sky third, clear of live every day, and then Clunserna. And looking back, 